When a player has been in the league for four years and has barely surpassed 500 receiving yards, there's no better definition of a player who is under the radar. Well, in this case, that player is Marvin Hall, who hauled in four passes for 113 yards after Kenny Galladay left the Week 8 Lions game with a hip injury. In the event that Galladay misses time, Hall may be a sneaky player to target as he could become the primary deep threat with the powerful arm of Matthew Stafford running the offense. And Jacoby Myers has posted 60 and 59 yards over the past two games in difficult matchups against the 49ers and Bills as the Patriots deal with significant injuries at wide receiver. With Julian Edelman expected to miss significant time while on the injured reserve, it appears that even though the Patriots have an anemic passing attack, Myers has quickly established rapport with Cam Newton, and New England has favorable matchups in three of the next four games. So consider putting a waiver claim in on Myers while he remains under the radar. The last player who's flying under the radar this week is none other than Josh Gordon. Although nothing's been made official, the Seahawks did sign him to a contract in the offseason, and apparently they are under the impression that he will be eligible at some point in time, which may be soon. We're certainly not talking about the 2013 version of Gordon, but playing as a third receiver in an offense with Russell Wilson... Tyler Lockett, and DK Metcalf, just imagine the open space that Gordon will have to roam. For those with the roster spot to burn, why not take a chance in the hopes of getting some flex-level production from Josh Gordon?